Well, we're starting to see the slowdowns throughout Metro Atlanta, including right here at 75 at Terra Boulevard. You can see the flashing lights. The actual accident is a little further north. I mean, the problems are continuing. Look at this. This is 285 just by Henderson, and it looks that a car is actually facing the wrong way. So all of these cars right here, you see the red lights, and then all of a sudden you see the white lights peeking through. Hearing about all those 90-degree days just made me hot. <laughs> it makes everybody hot, Bobette. Just makes me hot. Just watch it. <laughs> This is a live look at 400 just by Northridge. And you can see folks are starting to make their way on the highway and are up and about making their way south right now. Average speeds in the area still pretty high. We're in the upper 60s and 70s all across Metro Atlanta. Most of Metro Atlanta is in the green, but there are a couple of trouble spots, including right here, 20 at Clifton Street. Two lanes are still blocked. You can see uh, crews are still on the scene right now trying to clear this all up. The delays are starting to slow down around the accident. We're down into the 20s. Good news is it's still only going to take you just over 30 minutes. When we drop into the 50s, I like to make chili, but nobody ever wants to eat it. So, well, Beth, if right. I make some chili, will you eat it? Well, why doesn't anyone want to eat it? <laughs> I, feel like that's that. a, I feel like that's the first thing we need to figure out. It's All right, so, so this is a live look at 20 by Candler, and you can see there's an accident block in one lane. Speeds on 20 slowing down into the 30s for the most part for folks literally trying to make their way into town right now, heading westbound. That accident is in the westbound lane. We also have a couple other accidents. This one is at 75 in University for folks heading north. Speeds on 75, slowing down into the 30s also. And then we have another accident at Upper Riverdale Road. Delays building not just on 75, but also on Terra Boulevard for folks trying to head north. The accident is in the northbound lane and speeds on 75 down to about 22 miles an hour. That's your pinpoint traffic. Back to you guys. They're over an incident that has a portion of 285 closed. This is 285 just by Cobb Cloverleaf. Going to the map, you can see another angle of this. It was a pedestrian accident. The entire west and south lanes are completely closed as folks are trying to head over the by the Vinings area right now. If we're going, we're going to see multiple closures associated with this incident starting on 75. So we're 75 by Windy Hill. 75 onto 285 going west and then that's in both directions north and south for the most part no major accident wider look at the map we do have an accident a little bit south this is 75 for folks heading north just by university one lane was blocked last checked and we're continuing to see the delays built in that area wider look at the map though a lot of green another accident on the roadways because of this wet road conditions this is georgia 400 by northridge you can see an accident in the southbound lane as folks try to make their way south right now. Look at this. It's just causing the massive delays to build speeds in the area slowing down. And we're also seeing congestion on the other side for folks heading north. Coming into town, though, look at all of the accidents around Metro Atlanta on the perimeter. There's definitely a lot, so we won't hit all of them. The major ones that are causing delays is right at the top of the perimeter, just by Shambly Dunwoody and another one by Shambly Tucker on 285. Both of them back-to-back -back causing heavy delays.